Representative Jeremy Durham said his piece. But no matter how guilty you think I am, there are aspects of this situation that should bother every single one of you. But then came the questions. Did you at any point while a member of this chamber have sex with an intern in your office? But for God's sakes, I want to know, did you do it? Oh, Mr. Clark, take the vote. Now, for the first time in 36 years, state lawmakers have ousted one of their own. It's amazing what people say as long as it's not happening to them. News Channel 5 team coverage from Capitol Hill continues. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 6. He was once considered a rising star in the Republican Party, but today Jeremy Durham's fall from grace ended as his colleagues kicked him out of office. In the end, allegations of sexually harassing 22 women ended his political career. Yeah, we begin our team coverage tonight with our Chris Conti. Chris, a dramatic day at the Capitol, no doubt. Yeah, Rory, months of turmoil, angst, and anger all boiled over on the House floor today surrounding Representative Durham's alleged misconduct. This all came as some of his longtime allies couldn't even have his back today. He began the day the way it would end, alone. This would be the last time Representative Jeremy Durham ever sat in this seat. I move that Representative Jeremy Durham of the 65th Representative District be expelled from his seat as a member of the House of Representatives. He knew his one-time allies had turned their backs. Did you at any point while a member of this chamber have sex with an intern in your office? But he never imagined the kind of things they wanted to say. And I simply would like to know if everything in this 40-something page report is false or real. Our number one concern should be about the victims. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only the beginning. Read this report. The 32-year-old, who has never shied from the spotlight, didn't go away quietly today. For many of you, it doesn't matter what I say. Many of you will believe I'm guilty no matter what I say, no matter what I show you, and that's okay. But no matter how guilty you think I am, there are aspects to this situation that should bother every single one of you. He blasted lawmakers for ousting him with no formal ethical complaint or criminal conviction. This is a very dangerous precedent. Durham tried multiple times to leave the House chambers. After that report was released. Even after finally making an exit, he wasn't silent. It's amazing what people say as long as it's not happening to them. Then, like a Greek myth, this one-time rising Republican star who got too close to the sun fell. Mr. Clerk, take the vote. 70 votes sealed his fate. I hereby declare Representative Jeremy Durham of the 65th Representative District expelled from the House of Representatives. The message it sends is that sexual harassment and harassment of women that work in the legislature will never be tolerated. This was good for the taxpayers of the state. It was good for the victims of the state. This seat at the State House is no longer his. Representative Durham has been held accountable for his actions. Jeremy Durham is currently under a federal investigation because of campaign finance issues. The 32-year-old is no longer eligible for his state pension. Jesse Knutson continues our team coverage tonight. Jesse, there was a lot of questions today about the legality of this vote. Oh, there were, Chris. There were a lot of questions around the investigation itself. At this time, all of the women involved still remain anonymous, and Jeremy Durham says that he never had the chance to defend himself. as Jeremy Durham's name remained on the House floor's voting board and he waited at his desk. Members of the Republican caucus met to discuss whether this vote should even happen today amid questions of due process and constitutionality, stating that Durham could potentially file a lawsuit if he is expelled. We have the right to discipline our members. It is in the Constitution. Just as we, and we alone, have the right to make with the people of the state of Tennessee. Mr. Sergeant Arms, invite the members in the chamber and close the doors. As discussion started on the House floor, Durham took the podium one last time in a surprising move to plead his case. Nobody ever filed a sexual harassment complaint, which is required under our rules. There's also no criminal charges of any kind. Durham continued to say that he never had the opportunity to present his own case and said that the House floor was not an appropriate place to have these discussions. I, for one, have been appalled at some of the arrogance that I have seen. Members of the House quickly fired back. I know we can talk about procedure. I know we can talk about whether or not someone gets due process. But for God's sakes, I want to know, did you do it? 
And if you did, that affects my vote today. I wasn't going to just give them every single text message I've ever sent. I'm an attorney. You know I can't do that. Durham continued to deny any allegations against him, then left the House floor for one last time. As every member voted, does any member wish to change their vote? Mr. Burke, take the vote. As most of the names on the board turned green and Durham was expelled from his office. All right, is that enough, guys? I'm trying to get to my car. Durham's name was removed from the House's voting board. But I'm very proud that the decision was ultimately made to expel him from this body. The right decision was made, the right decision for the taxpayers, and more importantly, the victims. Now, Democratic leadership says they were pleased with the outcome of the vote, but the work is not done. They want to make sure that something like this can never happen again, and they want to make sure that all the victims are protected in this case. For now, we're live from Legislative Plaza, Jessica Newton, News Channel 5.